Well everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review Handling the Undead, which is a new Norwegian, very somber, dramatic, mysterious horror film, if you will, that focuses on one particular day when in Oslo, it's a hot summer day, and the strange magnetic pulse causes widespread migraines amongst people and then the undead rise. And this particular story focuses on specific groups of people who are reconnecting with their perished loved ones who all of a sudden are alive again. And this film is very methodical, very somber, and very harrowing in the way that it's constructed. This is not going to be the kind of film where, like, this is a zombie story, but this isn't like a flesh-ripping, bloody good time that a lot of people would expect out of a zombie film. This is a fresh, different take from writer-director Thea Vistendahl, who really creates a dramatic look at grief as we set the stage looking at a grandfather, a mother, a elderly sister who are all processing the losses of their loved ones. And then all of a sudden, they're brought back to life. And how are each of these people going to handle this situation? And how, to what lengths will go to reconnect? And there's moments that are beautiful and tender and very human and authentic, brought to life by these actors with the very depth, uh, depth handling of the story from Vistendahl. And there's so much to just engross yourself in this tender and engrossing, but also somber and harrowing feeling of there's inevitability there's the expectations that we have on like what zombies are going to do and how long will these undead just be these quiet reflective just stoic entities for these people to process their grief and loss through and this film takes a very long time of building, but once it does, offers up some very, very shocking and unnerving moments in this film where push comes to shove, what's going to happen with the zombies who we know to be flesh-eating monsters in cultural context. And this film takes a long time to get there, but those moments hit so much harder because we have connected with these people. And this film is about loss and grief and the folly of humanity to believe that some miracle can come and wipe all of that sorrow and loss and grief away and just bring our loved ones back. It's such an interesting and reflective take on this subgenre of horror. This is not going to be for everybody. I'm sure people who love zombie movies and seeing the blood and the guts are going to be disappointed by the fact that you don't get a whole lot of this. But when you do have those moments, they're so impactful. And this film is well directed. It is admittedly very slow. And though even I myself was getting a little antsy with how methodical the pacing was but in the end this is a beautiful somber story about zombies loss grief and just the unfair expectations that humanity puts on trying to overcome our grief but those are my thoughts on handling the undead let me know what you think and let's talk some movies but thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your wasteland reviewer